Don't mind me not being suspicious at all. I'm Batman. What's up guys and welcome back to Batman. And when we last left off, I think we started to play as Bruce Wayne. We had done a whole lot of Batman stuff. I think it was quasi flashback, but it's like I said, I think we're gonna be playing quite a bit more as Bruce Wayne in this game than we would most Batman games because it is a lot of decision stuff. It is a lot of storytelling and it says that we're gonna get into Gotham politics and stuff like that. So let's see what the Gotham politics are all about. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone. Maybe we can quick time event our way through some conversations. Who knows? Such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. Yeah, you I look like Two Face. You, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Uh huh. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late as always. Cool. Just call me out. Say hi, Bruce. I look like Archer. Uh, hi, hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor. Enjoy my wine. It's expensive. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Dude's got cheekbones for days. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. No, <laughs> I just hate you. <laughs> I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Was doing something important. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called <laughs> playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Yeah, I'm doing this for do Gotham. Anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. I mean, I Put a dent in crime. Our hope is in Harvey. Which a new, a new face for Gotham. I like that one. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. That was pretty smooth. I'm not gonna lie, but I still hate him. Probably because I know what he becomes, but at the same time, it's just, I don't know. He's bigger than me. I did not expect him to be taller and wider than Batman, but I think it's the cheekbones. He just, he looks evil. Hey, asshole, that, that wine's not cheap. Mr. Who's Wayne, Oz? I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, I know everybody. Yes. I'm Bruce Regina motherfucking Wayne. Regina, chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. We can all make a difference. You, but we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. They will all remember that. like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. 
No, it's true. Like birds. The Wains and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that cape bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Depends on the man. So depends I don't want to give Harvey too much credit here. Person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. They will Harvey remember that. A bit much. <laughs> Making a lot of decisions worry, here. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. What's that going to be called? Dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. Yeah, just bring it up in detail. Thank you. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. Yes, if emotionally and physically. Thank you for going into more detail. This right is a party. Maybe. Um. Well, I don't like to think. Yeah, thanks for your sympathy. And I'm sure you don't either. Multiple well, times has given me the opportunity to be like, this is about Harvey. Speaking with you too. Making it about me. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. Interesting. <laughs> what up, Alfred? Oh, that's not Alfred. That's the guy I was just talking to. <laughs> it is a night of ringing endorsements. Yeah, Alfred's too important to be working up here. He's downstairs in the KAI, I mean basement. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is right. a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? No, you're pretty good looking. Whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Uh, yeah, keep and it off the, record. off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. Good. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you. He's greasing the wheels. Pleasing everyone tonight. Oh, I'll please somebody tonight. How are you doing? Getting a little drunk. What about you? Enjoy your own party. Everyone loves a host better now than. Runs out. Better now that you're here. I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, <laughs> you've got something on your collar. She'll remember that. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. It Maybe it's like lipstick. No, nah, it's just wine. Spill some wine. It'll come out. Stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. I never stain. Yeah, no shit, Harvey. Anything else, Mr. Scientist? No? <laughs> He's a. Eh. Do you excuse me. Mark You're a terrible Bruce, wingman. Uh, what up? guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. He's got a bunch of suits with them. This one personally, sir. Oh, that guy looks like a bad guy. Carmine Falcone? Yeah, that's a bad guy. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Off the record, I'll meet you upstairs. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least cool, dude. Out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. No. Maybe he can change your mind. No, I don't want him here. He can he can go I don't screw want himself him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. Oh, okay, cool. So I have no decision here. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. 
No. <laughs> you know <laughs> when you say that, Batman never plays nice. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. Plenty of room for your butt on the front step. I'd never sell to you. You can't afford it. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. I love that he smiled and then just lost it. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Are you gonna shake his hand, Batman? Oh, shit. You're a respectable man, I hear. Oh, yeah, suck it. I'm good. I know what that hand touched. It's short. It's smelly. <laughs> Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I don't want him in my parlor. Don't look at my Parcheesi. Already pissed him off. That's fine. I'm not afraid of him. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. Freaking Batman. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll yeah, be let fine it. out there, Harvey. Y yeah, no, Harvey, Harvey comes with me. With us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Since when do you give orders? This is my house, this is his fundraiser, and you're a guest. You can't just commandeer my Mr. District fun room. Mr. Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law. And there's doing what's right. That you drink's understand? gonna cost you. No. And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. The shots so that I'm firing. I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might Lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't hit a chin wag about politics, Mr. Wayne. I think I've done good by Harvey Give a few times now. I got enough of that as is. He's the lesser of two evils so, in this room. Let's talk relationship. I'm not into you. Not into ball guys. Chalk this for me. Um, Be a pal. go fuck yourself. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Do I look like a chalk boy to you? You're in my home. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. <laughs> You're, you are cue ball. All my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Yeah, you and I are yeah, friends. that's not happening. Hey, this isn't the deal with the devil. Yeah, the devil looks a lot better than you. you that's an expensive cue stick. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money and I have a money, bullet wound. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Yeah, you shouldn't be mentioning my dead dad. Which to break. Yeah, don't talk about my don't dad. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. I think I just made myself an enemy. Mr. Alfred, Bruce, stab him. Your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. That's true. I wouldn't want to be rude to a guest that I like. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. <laughs> He's gonna get what's coming to him. That's fine. I'm not afraid of some mobster because I'm Batman. 
Oh, that was cool. I really like that. I was afraid that Bruce Wayne was going to be a little bit more boring and Batman was going to be exciting. Like, Bruce Wayne was going to be the lows versus Batman's highs, but they have it balanced out pretty well. I really enjoyed interacting with people, which is a good start. It's I me. guess that was the prologue or the intro. It looks like we have uh, some credits rolling here. Hey, Batmobile. <laughs> awesome. How did I do? I mean, I did well by Harvey a few times, and bad by Falcone a few times as well. So, I made some enemies and some friends, I guess. I don't want to be friends with anybody. I'm Batman. Realm of Shadows. Like, I don't want to be friends with anybody at all. I have no friends. Not even Superman. My parents' tickets. Interesting. We have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was on the scene, but failed to secure the stolen items. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Oh, I kept it. Well, then. I'm just as much a thief as they are. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm actually, like, controlling stuff. Um, main screen, what else have we got? Codex, Gotham Feed, oh, I get back gadget, data port, oh, I can move around too, I did not expect that from this game, yeah, I get my own back cave, alright, so we have gadgets, don't need any gadgets right now, data drive, nearly fell off a building for this? Why well, you nearly falling off a building isn't as bad as for sure getting shot. Analyze the data drive at the bat computer. <laughs> I love that it's always bat something. Let's look at the movie tickets. Nothing to say. Okay, that's fine. I understand. Still grieving. Um. Can we use this to decode things? No. Codex entries are, I guess, like background things. Like if I click, click on him, yeah, it's just gonna give me information on them. Okay, I don't care about that. Oh, that's that's not how to get out of that. That's a pause menu. Goddamn. So the game bugged out there. I'm finally back. I'm gonna have to pick this thing up again. It wouldn't let me exit out of the codex. There was no, like, stop using button. So I had to restart from the last save file. Game just came out today. So, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I need the back computer, huh? So, not the codex, Gotham feeds. Which one's the back computer? There's a lot of computers here. Uh, data port. I'm gonna guess it's this. There we go. <laughs> Couldn't just leave the chair out at the desk. It's gotta retreat into the floor. That's cool. Let's find out what was so important. Yeah, I'm pretty curious what this is. It's encrypted. Encrypted. Told you. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. Thanks for the heads up. And yet I always find you here. It's the, the best computer in the place. Cave. Those rooms don't matter. I like this cave. Oh, yeah, those rooms well, don't matter. This is the only room that really matters. Well, then you won't mind if I skip cleaning the rest. Sure. The dusting is murder. Did you I'll show you murder? That, um, cat woman tried to steal. Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Cool. Oh, what the hell? Rotate the hologram. All right, I can do that. Rotate the hologram to do what? The east side shoreline. Okay. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Now's not time to be a smart ass, Alfred. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. I guess this is gonna take a while. And in the meantime. Batman. I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. 
Yeah, and the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Oh, what about the chick? Before the game switched from Billy. Vivi, whatever her name was. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people so like I made a good decision. Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? Never seen her before. Oh, so I don't know who she is. Just a tourist. I'll check the codex. No, no, I don't. I don't want to check the codex because, uh, because I can't get out of the codex. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, we're in the codex. As you can see, I've already clicked on all this stuff. Found her. Crimes, burglary, petty larceny. New criminal on the scene tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the Gotham City Police Department has no leads. I wish there was more about her. Okay. Um, now what? Out note, that's clicking out of the game. Um, previous. Previous. And now it works. Not much to find, Good. apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. Mm, I'll try I to be a little more stealthy. Need Define need to. When somebody doesn't need an ass kicking. Calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. Yeah, being injured doesn't together, mean I'm Batman. At the mayor's <laughs> office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. City needs me, I man. Have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. Alfred no noticed that. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Hey, hey. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Oh, he gave me his business card, I see. Oh, 6 a.m. Oz, that was the Oz. drunk like asshole that was here. Years. Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I haven't the faintest idea. I don't know either. Um, maybe I'll maybe give him a chance. to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. I have no idea who if this I person is. Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I feel like I, I know, know some Batman stuff, but not, not a lot. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. Oswald Cobblepot. Until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. I know Cobblepot is the Penguin's last name, but I don't know if it's Oswald. This might be Penguin's son, maybe? Very strange. Okay. Cobblepot Park, 6.06 a.m. You're gonna, you're gonna burn your hands. Oh yeah, this place looks homey. Luckily, I have nothing to fear, because I'm Batman, right? Oh, okay. Newspaper. This has got to say. Wayne shuns Falcone something something something. I'm fine with that. 
Oh, that must have been the reporters. I said off the record, you lying. Can I click on this guy? No. Is there anything else? I think that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, what a shithole. Oh, I can actually walk around. I'm, just, I'm still not used to that in this game. I feel like it would be a lot of point and click. But uh, I can, you know, awkwardly. <laughs> Don't mind me not being suspicious at all. I'm Batman. Okay, yeah, there's nothing over there, so I guess I need to go up here. There's a guy, like, sleeping up here. Lots of homeless people around. Oswald might be homeless. Never actually thought about that. Homeless person. Give change or examine. Let's see what he's up to first. Maybe I can give him change after. What's up, guy? Yeah, you got a lot of liquor next to you there. Should I give him some change? Yeah, screw it. I got some money. I'm rich. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem, guy. What we... This doesn't matter anything to me. I'm just gonna spend it on bat armor. More burning barrels. Very strange. Oz, running late, Good. meet you by the statue. Well, that's it's where I am. Statue, but no Oz. Yeah, he said he was running late. Come on, man. Get with the program. Oh, good. Yeah, that guy doesn't look like trouble. I'm gonna go over here. I'm a very rich, important person, and you have a pink mohawk. Graffiti. Place is totally shit, ho. Plaque? Look at the plaque. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Okay. So this is this might be the penguin. This might be his dad here, a statue of him. But that wouldn't really make any sense unless he's I don't know. I can't really put it together yet. I feel like the penguin's older than Batman. Right? He wouldn't be the same age. I don't think. Is that you? Watch oh. wallet cash. But this goes through you. Pink guy, I told you that you're gonna be trouble. Oh, good. You wanna die too? You him, man. Yeah, just Go try and take it. Try and take it. The hell do you say? D you deaf and stupid, and ugly? Yeah, and me. Bring Gentlemen. it. Oz. Keep walking, alright? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're in the moment! Come here. Oh, okay. Well, damn. Oh, yeah. Right the okay. Oh, hi, gun. Where'd you come from? Yeah, you can go away. See you later. Well, damn. Nice no lives like you don't belong. Mm. Mm. No, you can stop that. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. This is my park. Mine. You, yeah, you can go away now. You got a little. You got a little something. Oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little. Uh... Oh, do I? Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? <laughs> Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Uh, so, I had it. Someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Hey, I could have handled that myself. You mean a knife handle in the back? Because that's what would have happened, mate. Uh, no offense. Yeah, all right. Oh, it's been, what, two decades? And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh... Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Is he British or Australian? I can't no, tell. Like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. This place is a wreck. It's better off bulldozed. 
This oh. Park still matters to me, Bruce. I didn't mean that. It's all my folks left behind. <sighs> this city chews right through people. You're still talking and drinking. That's a good talent. Mom, if you ever want to stop being a criminal, you should be a ventriloquist. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. Hey, I kind of lost some tools. parents. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I had my own funerals to attend. You know, when I saw you at the party last night, I thought, Bruce Wayne, ah, has it changed a bit? Maybe I was wrong. Shouldn't have been a surprise when I saw you with Carmine Falcone. Did I make another enemy here? Made himself right at home. That oily. Ugh. Yeah, Falcone he wasn't invited. Was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And. It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. I don't know how to put him. Things like I can't. I don't know soon, how though. I feel about him. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Who the hell are you? Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction. You break a window that Wade Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Is that a threat? Take it as you like. I've yeah, I don't like him. affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Cool. Which is why I'm warning you. This is why you're gonna smash my when windows. This whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Now that I think about it, he looks like the asshole with the cigar that's in the preview for episode three. Good seeing you, Bruce. But I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Don't like him. Don't like his last name. Don't like anything about him. Don't like his stupid accent. Press conference for new hospital start soon. Car waiting something something. I'm on it. Very strange. Can I pause? Okay, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Batman, guys. I really don't know how to place this guy and I'm tempted to go look up who he is because I have a feeling He's in the Batman universe somewhere. I don't think he's a new character, but I kind of don't want to know. It's one thing that I like about these games is that you don't know when they're pulling new characters or they're kind of pulling from the lore or it's an actual character. And it's like I said, Cobblepot is the last name of the Penguin, but I feel like the Penguin was an old dude, like maybe his dad, but I, I don't, I have no idea. And that's perfectly fine because I want to find out. So like I said, I think I'm gonna do two more episodes of Batman to finish it off tomorrow. I don't wanna do this over like a month like I normally do with the series, like once a week or something like that. I wanna get it all done, out of the way, enjoyed, and move on back to the games that I have planned for the rest of the week. But I am loving this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Okay, yeah. I want to turn and hit one of them, but I don't have any control. Okay, we're going to whack this ugly looking piñata. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Why do piñatas bleed? That's a rat.